Hello everyone. Welcome to the next video focused on the specialized AI professional certification and again on AI center. So I have a question for you on the screen. So this is coming from the UIPAL Academy Learning Plan for the AI Center Overview. So the question is, what are the sources of data that can be configured in AI Center? So the moment we say sources of data, what comes to your mind? So in, in the previous video, we looked at the different concepts that's available in AI Center. And as a part of that, we talked about the data sets. And that is where we are going to store all the data points that is needed to train and evaluate the models. So the moment we say the data sources or the sources of data in AI Center, we are talking about the data sets. And the question here is, what are the sources of data that can be configured? So, how can we configure these uh, data sources? So, let's look at the options we have. The first one is only data sent by your path robots at runtime. Second one, only files and folders directly uploaded to AI Center. And both files are folders directly uploaded to AI Center and the stuff sent by the robots. Last option is data available in sample packages. So the packages do not give us any data. And that's what we learned in the previous video. Packages is something different and it gives you the code and metadata for a specific model to work. But the data, that is something that we need to provide. And when it comes to the AI center, there are a few ways that we can get this info. So just like is mentioned here, if we go to the data sets, we can see that we can either create a new data set over here by giving any name, or else we can upload a folder along with its content. So you can directly upload a folder, or else you can create a data set And inside that data set, you can upload a folder or you can upload any files. So that is one way of getting the data. What is the other way? It is actually through the UiPath robots. And for our question over here, the answer is this. Both files or folders directly uploaded to AI Center or things sent by the UiPath robots during runtime. So for the question, this is the correct answer. And you may be wondering what are the activities that we have in UFR Studio to do this. So let's quickly have a look at that as well. So once you get to the studio, we have several activities that can perform this task for us. First one, that is coming from the UiPath ML services activity. Over here, if you go to activities, under ML, so I have already installed the package. And under ML, under these options, you can see a few activities. For storage, this is the activity that we need to use. It's the upload file. So this is one way of uploading data directly through the data set. We just need to configure the project and select the data set under that project and uh, provide the information that we need to upload. What is the next way? Is this the only way? No. We have few other options. If you are using document understanding, DU will also give you a set of activities to directly upload content to your data set. So if you search for trainer, we have two trainer activities the machine learning classifier trainer and the machine learning extractor trainer. I'm not going to configure these activities for now, but you can just see that both of these activities have an option to connect to the data set. And, and especially if you're looking 
on this uh, document understanding activities. I have a set of videos that very much focus on how you do this training and stop using these activities. So you can refer that for more info. But in later videos, we'll also see how this can be used to address different topics. So that's it for this video. And I hope that you know that when it comes to a question like this, that we are referring to the data sets and we have two ways to upload the data directly through the interface or using the activities. Thank you for listening and I'll see you in another video.